Alright guys, this is Dungon, and I have a special for you. Why? Because I have reached 50 subscribers. Yes, a milestone, 50 subscribers. I'm really happy. I reached it yesterday. I'm actually at 51 now. But uh, January so far, 2012, has been going really, really well for me. And... If you don't recognize this place yet, then you I'll catch you up in this uh, episode right here. But if you do, it's back. Oh yeah, my single player series, my survival single player world is back. Daytime's coming. And here are all 50 of you. There's actually more than 50 on this wall. Some have unsubscribed over the uh, times, months, or whatever. But no worries. I've reached 50, and I appreciate all of it. It's awesome. Thanks, everyone. And I since since this uh, series is old, it's I haven't uh, did anything in this world since November. I actually canceled this series, but I'm bringing it back because I think my channel needs a bit more consistency with uh, what's going on, and to clear this up, uh, this series will be the most permanent. I would, yeah, I'm going to keep it, keep going with it, keep putting more people on my wall subscribers here, and... This would be uh, main, my main series number one. Main series number two will be uh, cap, uh, complete the monument map of any type. I'll have one of those going at any time. Uh, I'm almost finished with floating memories. And whenever that's done, I'll begin another complete the monument map. I have no clue which one yet. But if you have suggestions for one, you could leave it. If you made one yourselves, you could leave that as well. Um, I will try out a Corrupt Land Zero, possibly. Um, it's a trial map. It's like Vex's map number zero for Complete the Monument uh, Beginners. But it will be worth the shot if I can't find anything especially. But those will be two main series, The Survival World and uh, Complete the Monument map. I've believe I will alternate the videos on those so one video in this world one video in complete the monument map one, another one in this world I really doubt that it will be alternate days like Mondays this Tuesdays that Wednesdays this or whatever because I can't promise my schedule is always open like that but alternating videos seems like a good idea to me and I'll probably do that and yeah, and then there will just be disjointed other series mixed in. Like, uh, disjointed other videos, I mean. There will be like, Race for Wool time lapses, Skyblock time lapses. I'm still keeping that series going. The uh, trailers for custom maps when I complete them. But all these series are, uh, what's the word? They're less common. No, that's not the word. Special? I, I, I don't know. They're rare. They won't be per... Uh, the per well, some of them are permanent. Nah. But... Actually, they can't really be permanent. Cause since they're all unique in a way. But they won't, they won't be priority on my channel. And they won't be very often. I don't think I've done, done Skyblock in a month, for example. But I still have that world on my save file. Still back it up. <laughs> and all that. So those will be disjointed. Uh, Skyblock series. Trailers. Things like that. So now to begin the tour in this world. This is my sand quarry. The desert. I began this world in 1.7. And I journeyed out this... Uh, this direction for 1.8, which is why you can see the chunk air. I'll still have to clean that up at some point. 
but this is my sand query for 1.8 and I turned it into my wall of subscribers for you for you all because sand query is pretty much like trash when it's done and it covers like a huge area of the uh, land and a, just a huge wall of subscribers to cover up a lot of land give tribute to you awesome people and make a torn out desert look much better and alright so let's fix that I do play this world on hard I do turn to peaceful occasionally it's not a big deal it's not a CTM map where I should play on I should never go to peaceful and stuff like that but I generally always play on hard difficulty and this is season 2's product an unfinished greenhouse stone thing that mission was to create every single possible farm in minecraft and I got pretty far with it this is the altar of the 25 subscribers and I, I don't think I'll get a 50 because first 25 is really special and I always keep that but I appreciate them all and I'll always always have that wall <laughs> a million can you imagine a million signs <laughs> that would be insane or well, half a million I guess whatever but these are all small farms but they're all the farms melon farm right here a pumpkin farm that's not uh, started yet because hmm I wonder if you craft a jack-o-lantern nope you don't get the seeds but in 1.8 there's a bug that didn't have any pumpkin seeds in it there were no pumpkin seeds in mine shafts and he couldn't craft them out of pumpkins so I haven't put pumpkins on this farm yet here's my wheat farm it harvests automatically there's two halves to it. There we go. Um, there are fences beneath these posts, but that that uh, bug fix thingy is fixed or whatever, so it doesn't really matter. But this is my greenhouse. It's the centerpiece of the uh, farming area, and we'll need the wheat. Um, this is right here. This weird shaped building is my seed and flower farm. Whoops. Seeds, tons of flowers. How it works is it's light. Turn off the lights like this, I think. Yep. And then bone meal the grass above like that. And then since the grass is unlit, all the flowers and seeds automatically pop off. And then you could start the water up. And you just get seeds rain down on you. And flowers. And then you turn the lights back on and turn the water off so the grass does not die. And that's the farm. Uh, I forget the link. And it's in one of my old videos. I'll probably be relisting them even though I don't like the audio on them hmm. well, this is how you replant there are two halves to this the goal of this whole place is not productivity or else I would have all my wheat in one by uh, one wide rows instead of these three but the goal of this area is to have every single farm no uh, oh well <laughs> Goals have every single farm, and that's what I did. I even have obsidian farms right here. What you do is put redstone down and running water next to the redstone. Run lava on top of the redstone, and it turns the redstone into obsidian. That's how I got that. Hey. I'm going to die. No, I'm not. I need to eat. Here we go. And that's how it works. There's also a cobble generator right next to it. And I have to add a smooth stone generator as well. Because that was added. A smooth stone generator was added after I made this world. There's even a water farm. 
right here. Infinite water source. A tree farm right here. A vine farm right here. Um... Yep. Uh, nothing that way. There's... Oh, except my bed and my strip mine. Yeah, here's all my valuable resources in this chest. 30 diamond, ton of gold, ton of iron. This world's set. I'll need a bucket. So good thing I remember to come over here. Bed's right here. Paintings to spell out my name properly right here. A ton of resources. I have not found a stronghold on this map yet. Even though they did exist, they just didn't interest me before. Here's my bed. And the reason I had this mossy brick here is because there was this, a bug with the stairs that was fixed. So if you break them when they're facing a certain direction, you'll get these blocks. But that was fixed, so I won't explain it anymore. But this is all survival. This is all legit. This is my egg farm. You can see it's working. I'll need one of these eggs. Um. Yeah. Okay. Think I was just thinking there. This is my soon to be hostile mob system when I get everything lit up. It's completely built. It's all in furnaces and it actually works. As you can see, it's pretty sweet. Um, I think this is Doc M's design, by the way. When they step on those pressure plates. Yep. You know, if, if you watch this stuff, you know how it works. If you step on those pressure plates, lava comes and kills them. This goes down to my slime farm. Which, I haven't, this is my latest project that I haven't fully gotten working yet. But I have a slime farm on my 1.7 area and it works pretty well so who knows if I'll finish that or not this is my sugarcane farm and I have a ton of sugarcane I'm glad I have this because it takes forever for sugarcane to grow now I uh, all this uh, all those came from when it grew super fast like mad I, okay so I'll need this 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 paying attention to know what those are you know what's going on you know what I did for my 25 subscriber special um yep it's my cactus farm you even have one of those got some cactus green even and those are all the farms I know I'm missing stuff because this is old 1.8 old for example, a snow farm, I need that. I would like to get an ice farm in here somehow. But I don't know how that would work. And... Yeah. This is on 1.8 world. I could get pumpkins from up there. And the glass dome is also unfinished, which is definitely going to be a work in progress over this series, uh, season 3. Because it says season 3. This, uh, this area is season 2, but right now I'm doing starting season 3. And a training. So I need a good entrance for this. Um, I've been working on designs. This may be something like that for when a uh, glass meets the ground. And there's my self-conscious portrait right there. And now, it's time to go to the elusive 1.7.3 world. Which, every time I went to it previously, I went on peaceful, so Enderman did not grief my mob trap. Or anything, really. But, that's been steadily worse. You can see that this water is lower than this water, because of weird generation errors. And... You can see my attempts at herding animals because I didn't have wheat yet. Breeding was unavailable, but persistence, persistence was, which is kind of cheap in my opinion. Um, but it would be quicker to boat, but 
Oh, I have a diamond axe, so let's do that. Real fast. Oh. Oh, yeah. Diamond axe. Axe of power. Oh, and I just realized that boats and Ian have durability back when I played this world. That's how long this world has been. I'll leave that workbench there. Because in this series, I'm not only going to complete that place, but I'm going to make a good connection between this and that. That is my goal, to make a nice road bridge thing system with buildings and cool, cool... Uh, with the uh, attention to creativity and buildings and stuff. And I actually have a boat right there. But I want to, since I'm already set with resources, pretty much, I have a ton of slimes in this area from last I remember. And a very active slime farm. But we're going to the mystery land. Sheep, you have no wool. What you doing? No, don't crash into that. But yeah, 1.7 generation. And yesterday, or today, I forget, they released this. No, it was today because it's Thursday. But they released a snapshot where biomes are much better now. The forest, plains, and uh, stuff like that have. They actually have hills now, they vary. More varied. There's a flat world option, apparently. This is also a swamp, which looks really ugly. But here is my 1.7.3 mob trap. I also, uh, this series originally started with Doc M uh, asking for perimeter seeds, good perimeter seeds. And this was just a huge lake. And the uh, seed on this world is Dungon217. It's 1.7 though, so this lake is probably not here. Ow. Good thing I didn't die there. I'll be upset. The Scully Farm still works. Uh, not the Scully Farm. The Mob Trap still works. Yeah, this is... There's also a passive Mob Farm that doesn't work at all anymore. Hey! It works just fine. Any men will go all crazy in it, though. So I can't really AFK on it. And last time I was here, this actually dropped feathers. So I have a ton of feathers. As you can see, feathers on the ground. <laughs> yeah, look at all that. Oh yes. All that string, bone, more feathers. This was the gear I had on because when 1.8 came out, I was pretty upset with it. But... I, when I went to the new lands, I wanted to keep them completely separate, so I dumped everything that I had on me in this chest and ran off uh, completely empty handed into the new lands, new 1.8 area. So this is stuff I had on me apparently. That's why there's a diamond pick here. This world. Oh, see, see, look at that! Look at all these endermen! I need a diamond sword, but I don't have diamonds here. There's four endermen in my little area. You don't pick up any of this stuff, right? You don't pick up sandstone? Wool? No, I don't think so. Nope. Good. Good. You get all these arrows. Aha! Yes. Whoa, that is a ton of iron. Yes! Yeah, that's why I'm going more creative now, because I don't actually have to cave explore at all. Uh... Probably the first project I'll do is get a uh, enchanting and potion set up. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to go to the Nether in my 1.8 lands because I never did that. I was waiting for the Nether update, but 1.9 never actually came out. It was only the few releases that I never tried out. So I have to do that sometime soon. And I'll have to get enchanting and potions set up, definitely. Oh, yeah. This is still a good base, actually. Except for the Enderman problem. 
Might call this the Enderman base. Yep. And I'll need to get a uh, experience farm set up because I never had that yet. I even have two legit pink wool. Pink sheep actually dropped and died while this is still a passive farm. That's how I have all the wool as well. All the leather. Random farming stuff. This chest just rocks. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Ton of clay. Buckets forever. Let's get this. And... Flint and steel if we could find it. Whoo! Nice! Oh yeah, I also tore down my mushroom farm in my uh, old area. And this, this is my nether portal. I made a volcano around it. So that's what that is, in case you're wondering what a random volcano is doing. Um, but yeah, ender pearls. That's cool. Um, and yeah, this is still productive as anything. If I could get down in it. There we go. Um, bones forever. Cobble forever. Wood forever. Dirt for never. I need to use all my slime balls and redstone. Yeah, look at that. Ah, yeah. Blaze Farm is definitely... I'll probably do another episode next time. Next one. Because I need that. Sandstone for days. Oh, we already seen, seen these chests. But... These uh, little uh, outposts you see are all spawners I found while caving. Then I dug straight up. And then in the ocean and made pillars around. That is two... No, this is my x-ray. We should go check that out. And cow. Come here, cow. Yeah, I need to set up a passive mob system again. This is the old design. You could use this with glowstone now and it'll be much less dangerous and much less risky. But, as you can see, a ton of caves lit up. All around, everywhere. And... Yeah, F3 still worked in 1.7, I believe. So that's how I was able to find all, a lot of these caves. It doesn't work anymore, sadly. But there we go. I'm surprised I had that much TNT. That... that that rocks. That makes me happy. But what not what does not make me happy is all this swampy water. See, this won't be a good perimeter anymore if you uh, made to see Dungan 2 and 7 now of 1.0. So all this will be swamp. And it'll be pretty much bad to do. That's actually just a signpost, not a spawner. <laughs> but let's go into the volcano. And then continue on for the last bit of the tour. And then finish up the uh, the special. Don't break boat, please. Okay, good. Um, volcano. The nether. I never did anything in the nether. I never even collected that much glowstone, really. Except just a bit of it. It's not even worth it. Nice, nice. Forgot about this place. Oh, this is where all my dirt went to. That's right. I was running out of it. Yeah, I remember now. This used to be a cool little oasis island. Yeah. And all this dead grass is for passive mobs to stop. But it doesn't matter now. I don't think any passive mobs could spawn in this area, actually. Um, this is a river I began creating because so I wanted to build a long river, but now rivers are actually in the game itself, so it doesn't matter. 
Um, <laughs> um, yeah, my sand query is over here for 1.7, but we'll go to that right after this. Down here is my slime farm for 1.7. I think slime chunks still are the exact same. I don't know why I blocked right there, it doesn't matter anyways. I think slime chunks... You hear them? You hear them? Yeah, it's still super productive. Look at this. There's just a bedrock fog. Yeah, very nice. Th there are three slime chunks in an L shaped. So that's right by my strip mine, which is already dug out a lot. So I got lucky with that, and that's what's going on here. I don't have a looting sword yet, but... Hello, slimes. It's quite a good experience for him, too. Yeah, this, this bedrock fog is definitely not here last time. Ha, huh. but no worries about that. Die slimes. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to complete the 1.8 slime farm. So I, just, I just got 36 from just chucking up on it. Not even slime grinding it. I thought I heard footsteps. But goals, goals. Goals for season 3 is to connect these two areas together. Connect that uh, huge glass dome and this with things like um, a nice road. No, no real minecart checks. I'm not really a fan of those. But some sort of sort of get my sword out here. Some sort of road with like a building, a huge chest hall. This is create a challenge, create a dirt hut, which is now in a very, very ugly swamp biome color. <laughs> but here we go. This is my dirt hut. I think this is my last project in 1.7 lands. Obviously made a poll for something going on. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, there's a bit more into this. Oh, this was this is my sand quarry, by the way. This lake was not here, so I have to actually finish the lake. Sand quarry is down there. The actual chest of sand is over closer to the mob spawner, not in it, just the sandstone. Yeah, so cave spider system, XP system, or no, no, maybe a blaze system, depending on how lucky I am in the nether. I wasn't lucky before. Just run. Ow. Not good. Not good. This is a bad idea. To save this, uh, save this episode. Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't do that normally. Is, but I would spawn back in 1.8 and I have to travel all this way just to show this very bit small bits of stuff. Oh well. There we go. My very, very first base. Well, very, very first base I filmed. Very first chest room. Diamonds just everywhere. Music disc. The complete farming chest. <laughs> yeah, right. Redstone, a fair bit. Sand. Bread and meat. Mushroom stew. There's actually a mushroom farm down there that doesn't work anymore. Because it was nerfed. My awesome little outlook point. 
just built into the mountain and my dog house where my dog randomly disappeared on me one day no clue where he is still I think he's gone forever my river that never finished my first tree farm that goes, grows through the glass but all these trees should grow provided we're in this area long enough and this chunk is loaded very it was very productive for what it is and an older sand quarry is down in the desert through this little valley oh yeah we have to go up there But down here is a zombie spawner, which gave me the feathers I needed before the real mob spawner was complete. And yes, I said feathers, because they gave feathers. This area looks way, way different with the uh, grass change. But I love 1.7.3 generation. It actually has trees on mountains. Ha. <laughs> uh. Nope, wrong way. Up here. And up here is my diamond pick graveyard. For all my 1.7.3 diamond picks. They mine stone, coal. Kill the zombie for me. Cobble, sandstone, netherrack for my nether. Stone again. Poor lava. And I moved on to 1.8 and didn't keep track of this anymore. But yeah, this place. A random gravel pillar over there. And the tour, I think, is over. Now I just need to find some cows. Head back over to 1.8. Ah. It was one of those weird, something's in the throat, but not really. It's just like you have to swallow, and it stings a little. I don't know. That's what just happened. And hey, there's a cow right there. Howdy, cow. Do you love all these random grass colors? Because I sure don't. It's not a good, way, good nostalgia. Does not provide the best it could be, but... It's very nostalgic. Looking through that window, very, very cool. But thank you for your milk. I'll leave you just swimming there. And... Even though I won't make a special altar for all 50 of you, you all get the cake. If I could still make it. I remember how to um like this right yes perfect the lie I think got that achievement last time I made a cake and I can't make any dump the eggs in here um yep yep there we go so now let's go back to uh, the wall of subscribers and put your cake down at the 50 subscriber mark. Look at this yummy, yummy cake. Oh, yeah, this is where I hold all my sand, I think. Yep, right there. All the sand. This is where I smelt it all. So, yeah. Since I, I have about a billion chests on this world, uh, I definitely need a, like, B00's Home Depot type thing, but not, not exactly like that. Definitely do my own thing to it, because I'm creative like that. And that's how I treat my Skyblock series as well. Creative, not go for the challenges, because I hate the challenges in Skyblock. They're stupid. <laughs> 
Um, but I create my own thing. Unfortunately, we lost 48 minutes of footage for Skyblock, but it was a fair bit of grinding and measuring out more than building anything really cool. So it's not a huge, huge loss. And so yeah, random, random input right there, or right there. Okay, there we go. There's a ladder. There was going to be a dock right there, but then we're finished. At one point it came out, and I was super mad, dumped everything, and ran off. <laughs> but uh, the reason why I want to stay along between the areas instead of loading new chunks is so... Because it's still updating the biome code. Like I said in the beginning, deserts and plains have more hills to them. Taiga forests have snow, like the forest right next to my farm greenhouse. I'll need, oh, I have a name for that. The name for that place is Seinfields. S-E-I-N-F-I-E-L-D-S. Because that's what I name all my farms. That's what my uh, farm town on uh, that old Facebook game was, Seinfields. And it's a tribute to the awesome comedy series Seinfeld. Uh, perhaps my favorite, How I Met Your Mother, definitely tops it, tops that list as well. And The Office U.S. Can never forget about those. Always really cool. There's a gravel beach. I miss in the sand beach. I miss those. Don't hit it. I'm surprised neither one broke. Okay, and I didn't take all that damage again. But, you know, let's run back. For sake of video, I won't turn it too hard anymore. Um, I think I might do this series similar to um, Avidia Zen. If you follow his stuff, he gives, he shows everything he's building more step by step than Doc M. But it's not a full on let's play either. It's not. And. Yeah. So it's more like. I brainstorm on camera. And then see if it works off. But I record everything I do. And edit it down. To a reasonably sized episode. So I'll probably film maybe. 45 minutes or so. And then make an episode out of it. It whenever I play. I believe I'm up to 45 minutes on this already. And it's all been talking. But. It's probably not close to 45. I have no clue. I don't actually time myself. Except in the monkey boy challenge. Which I'll probably do again in SMP. If Rayman still has his server up. He asked if I wanted to do it this morning. But I was busy. But. Thanks for being with me this whole time. Thanks for subscribing, especially all the new subscribers. Thanks for uh, considering my channel good. And thanks for my old subscribers, definitely. Thanks for giving it a sub all around. I really appreciate it. It's very inspiring. Your comments are very inspiring as well. There we go. The cake. I have a sign right here. It's a cake of you, of the cake of, um, awesome people like you. First 50 subs. No! No! Can I type you? Yes, I can. Like... Uh, <laughs> the cake of the first 50 subs. You all rock. Heart. There we go. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Cuts through this again. 
Some of you have left me, but that's okay. Some of you even subscribed to me two years ago. <laughs> when I didn't have anything at all. And so, next episode will probably be the Nether. Looking and getting a full blaze farm going. So I need that to get enchanting going. Um, I have enough for enchanting table already and enough reads for all the bookshelves. And begin work on connecting the two areas with and getting my uh, getting all my chests organized to be quite a chore, but and that'll be a lot of off camera running around. Definitely. But thank you all and I appreciate it a lot. It means a lot to me. This is Dungon, and I'll see you later.